Hello YouTube, this is tutorial number 5 in our Forge modding tutorials for making a Minecraft mod for 1.7.10. We left off finishing up um, Energy Bar. So now we're going to finish the last class in the Energy Network, which we are going to call Energy Net. This is um, pretty much the main class for the energy network. Okay. So, how we start this is we are going to do uh, public static void distribute energy here um, as you know I'm extremely lazy so distribute energy to surrounding and then we're gonna give it a few energies we're gonna give it world world We're going to give it an int x, we're going to give it an int y, we're going to give it an int z, we're going to give it forge direction, and then we're just going to call that last direction. We're going to give it one last integer, which is energy bar. Energy bar. And then energy bar. There. Now we're going to import these. So import world, import forge direction, and there we go. And then we're going to do this. As you know, I'm lazy. And then it's going to have an integer of world, integer of x, integer of y, integer of z, integer of last direction, and an integer of energy bar. There we go. Okay, and then we will make that method a little bit later. So now... We are going to do another public static void, and this time we are going to give it an integer of world, world, int x, int y, int z. and energy bar and 
energy bar. Sorry if I sound a little funny from all my other videos. It's really early in the morning. Okay, now we're going to distribute two surrounding. <coughs> And then we are going to give an, an integer world, integer of x, integer of y, integer of z, and then forge direction dot unknown. comma space energy bar and if we get done with this class we will start on the actual pipe next video okay now we do public static void Distribute energy to side. And then we're going to give it an integer of world. World. Int x. Int y. Int z. Forge direction. And then we're just going to call it direction. And then energy bar. And we're just going to call it energy bar. Okay. Now I am going to see how far Okay. So I'm going to see how long this video has been so far. Okay. We're doing good. Okay, so we're going to do a bunch of if statements because now we're doing the, the how it distributes the energy from one to the next okay so if this is the part I know from the back of my head if world dot get tile entity uh, get tile entity x it's x crap x plus direction dot offset x y plus direction dot offset y and z plus direction dot offset z and then this is going to be an instance of instance of I energy crap I energy and then
That's the first of many if statements. Then we are going to have I energy. I energy. And then energy on side equals, we're going to cast it. I energy. And here, let me just import this root. Okay, oh wait, it will fix itself when I go to the next part. Then it's world dot get tile entity. Now, this part is literally the same. So, I'm just going to do that. Make our life easier. There we go. And then I energy. And then it, we're going to call it this energy tile. Equals I energy. We're going to cast I energy. I energy and then it's just going to be world dot get tile entity and x y z there we go now we're going to do forge direction and it's going to be invert sides is going to equal forge direction forge direction dot valid directions and then it's going to be forge direction dot opposites where was I? force directions dot opposites and then oops and then direction dot original And there we go, we're done with that one. <coughs> then, now for the fun part. Back to if statements. Okay, actually, before I start this if statement, let's see how far, how long this vid video is. Okay, we're, um, this is the end of tutorial four. I will see you next time on tutorial 5. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.